Welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about async scope function in Power BI. So we will be using async scope function and the other functions like all, all except one, except and all selected will be used in along with this function. If you want to know more about all, all except, except and all selected function, you can go to the details of this video and you'll be having a link for DAX. And in that link a tutorial, you will be getting all, all except and all selected DAX functions tutorial videos. So here we will be discussing about async scope function. We will go to the details of it. So async scopes function returns true when the specified column in the level in high is, is in the level in hierarchy of values. So take the case of this uh, table here that we have category and subcategory. So is in hope this in scope function will be saying okay, this category is in scope with which level is in this subcategory category is in scope which in which level whether it is the parent level or whether it is a child level you can understand with respect to the category and subcategory by using is in scope so if, if why we need to use is in scope is because here you can see we have a table and in that table we are having the total revenue and we wanted to get the percentage of total revenue with respect to category and subcategory so as usual we have divided this total revenue by taking out the filter of this total revenue so we will be getting the percentages but the problem here is that we don't want to get the subcategory percentage like this we need to get the subcategory percentage with respect to the category so here of course two products are there if you calculate if you add these two products it should come to 100 now if you're adding all the product category it will come to 100 now we don't want like that you want to add this subcategory and it should be 100 with respect to this category and here we have two four subcategory and it should come to 100 for example here you can take this case of calendar in 2020 we have 23 percentage with respect to the total revenue but we have 12 months in 2020 and all the months together if you find the percentage it should be with respect to 2020 not 2000 not the total revenue so that means all the months if it if you calculate it should come to 100 percentage with respect to this 2020 so for that you need to see the scope of each and every hierarchy now this is the first hierarchy and this is the second so this is the parent and this is this is a child you need to understand okay this 2020 is the parent and this month january is the child so you need to see the scope that is why the it is showing that okay it gives true according to the level of hierarchy if you are checking is in scope so we will definitely we will be seeing a, an example with respect to is in scope and we will use a calendar table for that that will be easy to understand so we will take a matrix table and we will the calendar date we will take the year and month and we will take the total total revenue of course we have given it as sum of purchase sum of revenue column and we will select the total revenue for this uh, year of course you can see the values of the revenue and it has been shown filtered and it is shown here now we need to get the percentage of this we need to get the percentage of this total revenue with respect to the year and the month. So for that, definitely we will be using the same formula itself, but we will be dividing this formula with the same one, which is unfiltered. So we will use a create a measure for percentage revenue percentage equals we will use divide function divide total revenue that is a numerator and the denominator should be we can use calculate. You have to take away the filter from this total revenue. So we can use dot calculate the expression is total revenue and we have to take away the filter from calendar we have taken the filter from this calendar table we need to give the alternate the alternate result so of course we have check and see and we need to select the percentage symbol of course we will be we will see with respect to 2015 and 2016 see if you see 2015 only 40.49 revenue and here the problem is okay the year revenue percentage is correct with respect to the total revenue but the december's percentage is not correct because it is taking with respect to the total revenue we don't want it to be with respect to this total revenue we want it to be with respect to this corresponding year that means here 40.49 means this should be 100 percent so for with that for getting that you need to check the scope of all these hierarchies and you need to divide with respect to so for getting that definitely you have to take away the filters from this month and you need to divide this month with the corresponding year so at the same time you need to divide the year corresponding to the total revenue so both the things you need to do so definitely you need to understand what 
whether how we should understand whether it is year or whether it is month whether it is a parent or whether it is a child in dahiga so for that we need a scope punch so we will create another table we will copy and paste and we will take away this revenue percentage or first we will take away the filter from the year we will create a measure first and we will be taking away in the in that measure we will be concentrating on the first hierarchy that is a year we will take out the filter from the year so we will create a measure for that so we will use it as year year scope equals to you need to take away the filter from the year so calculate total revenue and you need to take away all selected from the year that is uh, date calendar date calendar date dot year so we will select that also inside here in this table so we will select this year scope inside the table and we got now we don't need to bother about the month because for month we are going to give another measure but here we are concentrating on the year so you can see the year total it is the revenue it is the total revenue you can see the year it didn't get filtered the months and all it has been filtered but the year is not filtered so we need to concentrate on this table because for getting the percentage we are going to get the year percentage from for 2015 as this total revenue divided by this dot this year scope for that we need to get the year unfilled so we got the year unfiltered we are having 2016 the entire year and the same way the entire revenue we are having it on 2017 every year we are having. so now the next thing what we have to do is that we need to get the month scope we have to take it as a measure for the month so we are giving it as month scope equals to here the thing is that we need to take away the filters of the month but we need to keep this year filter proper so one two things we need to do in this month scope that is we need to take away the filter from the month we need to give all from this month but at the same time we need to keep the filter for year so we have to use all except for year and all for month so we will use calculate sum of some of x and we need to give the table name in the table name we will take away the filter from the month and we have to give the expression expression is total revenue and now the additional filter we need to give is that we need to keep the filter for year so we will use all except calendar table and calendar date dot year so here we are taking out the filter of month and we are keeping the filter for year and we will select that also here so here we can see we are keeping the filter for the year and at the same time we are taking out the filter for the month or for the month yeah so if we go down and see okay this year filter is taken out and we are not seeing the full revenue like the previous measure but at the same time if you check the we are taking away the filter from the month and we have given the filter for the year with respect to that month so now we need to divide for getting the year percentage we have to divide this total revenue from this measure year score at the same time to get the month percentage you need to take the total revenue with the second measure which we are going to which we have done so we have to understand the tobia needs to understand whether it is the year or whether it is month we are going to calculate so for that we have to use is in scope so if it is in scope of the year you have to divide total revenue by year scope if it is in scope for the month how do i need to calculate divide total revenue by month scope so for that we have to create another measure year and month percentage equals we have to check whether it is year or whether it is month so you can use an if statement or you can use a switch statement we will use switch and switch if it is true since scope we will check whether it is date dot month if it is month then we will give the result as divide total revenue by month scope otherwise the value can be zero so the next one is is in scope for year calendar date dot year and here if it is year you can divide by total revenue by year scope and if it is not then you can give out if it is a month you need to divide the total revenue with one measure if it is a scope if the scope is year you need to divide total revenue with different measure so for this is the exact reason why scope is used 
and we will select it and keep it here and you can see the exact thing like here and like this you won't be able to see you can take away the other unnecessary scope and month revenue things and now it will be easy for us to analyze it and you have to give the year month month scope you need to give the percentage for that yeah now you can see the exact percentage so you can see 2021 the total revenue of 2021 is 15.81 percentage and that is with respect to the total revenue and that is the same as here also but here for 2021 january it is 12.53 that is it is with respect to the total revenue of 2020 so if you calculate all these months percentage it will come to 100 percentage for example i think the first month see the month of december we have only one month then 2015 we have only one month and of course we got 100 percentage so this is with respect to the total revenue and this is with respect to the year corresponding year of that month so this is one use of esint scope where you can use it in a hierarchy and you can use it with respect to the year and month scope you can use the same for category and sub category you can use it for category sub category and product and columns also and hope this video will be useful have a nice day